All right, so we're going to start this video uh, just taking it out of the box because I can't fit this in my review to show you the box. So I'm just going to open it here. Pardon the lack of professionalism with lighting and all that stuff. Not that I'm ever pro at that, but what I have here is the long-awaited, I wish I had three arms, Volt in Box, Volt in Box, Voltus 5. All right, made in China, all that stuff. Uh, Lufin, so I got mine at BBTS. And when I first got it, it did uh, come wrapped in a tissue paper, which I was so trying to uh, save, but it's near impossible. Don't matter, it's just tissue paper. Uh, let's see if we can get this bad boy out. It's got a handle, which is cool. Come on. There we go. Look at this box, guys. This thing is gigantic. Let me lean it against the couch here and draw back a bit. Really big box. That's a sofa. That's the box. It's got an old school vibe to it with these stripes here, just like the old Voltus. All right, and then we'll flip this around this way. Check out the back. Pretty cool pictures. Uh, and that's about actual size, maybe? I'm thinking that's actual size. But we'll see later. Let's bring it down. Open this up. And you got the old school looking window box design. Whoops, upside down. Like this, see that guys? Really cool. Got the little booklet. By the way, if it's your first time watching the video, don't worry. The whole video is not uh, I'm on a, uh, what do you call it, a phone. It's just, this is too huge to put in my review area. So you get the little booklet. You get everything else. Uh, what's cool is this does have the protective covering. There have been some releases that don't have this protective plastic. The cardboard's just laying on top with a piece of styrofoam on top, and it usually ends up getting wrinkled. But here it is. Okay, if you guys watch my Facebook, you already know there's an issue with mine. Nothing crazy. What happened is uh, I got two left ears. And you can see it's on there, but there's a gap in one of them because it wasn't designed to fit on the right side. But um, anyway, yeah, so let's get back to my review area here. All right, so we're back in my review area. Before I even continue, I got to say, Kumo sta to my Filipino friends, obviously over in the Philippines or whoever, wherever you are in the world. Um, you probably grew up with this. I get a lot of Filipino fans that love the videos, so thank you guys for checking it out. Do want to give you a shout out since my Voltas videos go through the roof with you guys. But we're back here again, like I said, in my review area. We're checking out this stand first that it comes with. It's got a nice plaque at the bottom. I'm not sure you guys can see that right there. Yep, right there. It's got a nice metal plaque with a little plastic thing that you can peel off to make it nice and shiny. I'm going to leave that on there. Um, even though I'm not a fan of stands, I love the way this docks here. I think it's a great way to display. And you got the little V effect in the back, which is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Now, this video can be at least an hour long, knowing how I like to blab. But we're going to try and keep it, you know, to the basics. So we're going to actually move on and start checking out each individual vehicle. We're actually going to start off at the bottom here. We're going to start with the Volt Frigate here. We're going to pull him out. Nice and chunky. Little chunky boy right here. It's got some nice little landing gear sets that you can pop out just by pulling this out and bringing them down. As far as die cast, we got the joints. I don't see any other pieces of die cast here. So all the die cast is pretty much left to the, uh, actually the back of the leg here. And also the joints. All right, and we're going to move over to this guy. And this guy is the Volt Lander. Okay, it's got some nice rubber wheels. They do spin. They're not necessarily spinny spinny, but they do spin rubber. Uh, you got some uh, plastic on the outside here. You got some nice die cast right here in the red. Uh, these do separate easily. If you're gonna pick it up, make sure you grab both like this because it will come apart. It's just held on with magnets, which I think is pretty cool, but not the most sturdiest thing possible. Now the Lander does have his weaponry here. You just pop this down here. And you got the drills. And next we're going to move on to this other chunky boy here, which makes up the chest. This is the Volt Panzer. 
All right, it's a little tank vehicle here, uh, pretty hefty nonetheless, uh, due to the front section here of the chest, which is die cast. Uh, it feels pretty solid, as long as you make sure everything's clipped in, uh, the treads do roll, as you can see. You do get these little claw hands that open up. I can even open it up. Yep, there you go. Get them on both sides. And then this opens up right here to reveal a magnet, which we'll check out later. Next, we got the Volt Bomber. Uh, I know there's some issues with the bomber. I know somebody had some of these clips missing. I don't know what else um, is the issue with these guys. I don't seem to have an issue with mine. Everything is working as it should be for now. The review's not over yet. And again, it has some nice little landing gear that hides. I like these little, little doors here. A lot of good detail. All right. Got some nice fins. Uh, die cast. What do we got for die cast? We have just these parts here. So not much. But still a cool looking solid vehicle. I thought it was going to be very flimsy, but it's nice and solid. And then we got the, uh, the Volt Cruiser. Nice little jet fighter thing here with a nice big cockpit, small wings. I don't know how this thing is supposed to fly, but it's got some nice big jets. As far as die cast, you do have the die cast head, which is pretty nice. I don't see die cast anywhere else unless it's internal. Pretty nice. Also, some landing gear that pops out. It kind of reminds me of that little uh, Robotech thing. Uh, I forgot the name. I built a little model of it, but it kind of reminds me of that just a little bit longer. Then right behind the Volt Cruiser, we got all the little cockpits that go inside each individual vehicle. I'll be showing you that in just a moment. All right, so every little cockpit capsule comes with a little clip that holds it onto the stand. What we want to do is open up the actual cockpit here. Little spot for a nail. And just gently place it in. Don't force it. It should just go in. That allows you to close it. And you do that for each vehicle. For the cruiser, you do get the uh, boomerang effect and also the cutters. I'll install them really quick. But what you do is uh, take this existing piece off and just transplant it with that and then put the cutters on the wings and to use the boomerang just carefully pop this down then it'll allow you to pop this out then put the boomerang in here and close it up and for the cutters just pop the wings off clip this back on it's just a friction fit you can see the cutter on there don't think I need to do the other side but that's what it looks like now this set does require uh, batteries which are included believe it or not so the base itself to do the song thing, which I'll show you in a second, uses uh, two AA, which are included, like I said. The uh, the frigate also has batteries, one on each leg. Then you also get batteries for the Panzer, and then batteries for the cruiser itself. All right, so I'm gonna get this guy ready for transformation, or com combination, not transformation, combination. So we're just gonna separate this. Very simple, just pull this back, or be like me and remove it. And it's key, don't twist it. Uh, Especially when you're putting it in, don't force it. It is keyed, so make sure you're putting it in the right way. Um, you can choose to leave it on. It's up to you. And then just fold it down. That's one. This one, we got to push this little cockpit in. We have to fold the wings up. These things have to go in. They're a little tricky. You can't just push them in because the little doors are on the side. So you kind of have to push on the antenna, which I'm not too comfortable with. That's the clip there. So just if it doesn't stay down, make sure the clip is down and then hold it up to keep this locked and do the same for the other side and we flip it around here get these little tabs to go in and we're going to take this chunky guy here and push this in we are going to bring this out here bring it around all right fold it back here and then push the sides in and then clip this on the back this guy put the uh, wheels away if they're out fold it in close the little doors now these shoulders kind of remind me of Ideon, Ideon, they're a little tight and I feel like this might stress at some point. I wonder if that's the issues people are having just breaking them there. I hope I don't have those issues and I believe this goes up and push this down. It should pop out the little vents there. I don't know any other way to take them out, but pull the hands out, clip them in like so, bring the forearms down. This guy pull back, fold down, get this out of the way fold the head up so while we're getting that ready we're going to show you the sound gimmick here or the sound feature uh, on this set so there's a little switch here once you put double-a batteries in it's two of them uh, you put it to the little circle to the side that means on and you have five variations so we're going to start out with this one we're not going to play all of them or all of them through but we'll show you all of them so here's number one 
All right. Then this is number two. All right. Number three. Number four. And number five. Number five almost sounds like the beginning of uh, those Borat videos on Ali G. Kind of reminds me of that, but. Or Tetris. But check this out, guys, once I pop this in here. Isn't that awesome? I'm kind of snapping them in, but I would probably suggest hitting this button in the front just to keep the tabs from wearing out. And then waist here, there's a button. Where is it? Underneath. Is it right here? Yeah. And then it allows you to pull the sides out, like ever so slightly. It's almost nothing. But that gives it enough space to bring the other section down. All right. This requires lining it up very well. Oh, see that? <laughs> bring it in to hold it. All right, we're climbing higher here, guys. We're going to get to the top section here. One word of caution, look down there. Make sure the little seat for the cockpit is not in the way of the nose, okay? Because this, you don't want this uh, being scratched up or broken in there. Okay, so make sure that's not in the way. We'll bring this down. And, of course, we're going to bring Cruiser down here. Snaps right in. As you can see, all the sound effects are there, which is awesome. Look at that. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Hello. Hello. Well, apparently mine uh, likes to be a fire alarm. So that's exactly what it sounds like. I can't get it to stop. I made sure the little wheels weren't in the way. Can't get it to stop. It's kind of annoying. So I'll be reaching out to Bluefin about that. And the button here, it's kind of hard to get to, but I like to push this if it works. There you go. That'll stop it. And the eyes light up. Kind of hard to tell. Let's try it again so you guys can see the lights. There you go. So it just says volts is 5. Makes little sound effects, the typical uh, 80s kind of um, sound effects. Get that in there. Stay tuned, by the way. I got the covers for that. And also the height adjustment on the ankles. And you got the buttons here. All right, does all that. Check out this one. makes the shooting sound effect or the clanging whatever you want to call that and it's got the effects for you know all his different weapons which is kind of cool all right so you get the idea I'm not gonna go through all of them again it takes a lot of time to do all that but um this is the ear thing I was telling you about you'll see this one sits nice and flush against the head this one's kind of got a gap to it and I was like, how does Bandai make that, right? And I'm thinking, like, there's got to be something up. Of course, I take these apart. All right, so I got it off. So this falls off very easily. This one's kind of hard to take off. But if you look at the molding, whoops. I know it's hard to tell, but you can see a better picture on my Facebook. Um, they're molded identically. There's a little round section where it clears the pins on the side of the head. One of them doesn't clear because it's molded the opposite way. So, of course, I reached out to BBTS where I got this. Unfortunately, they don't have any more of these Voltus 5s. So they either uh, wanted me to, you know, return it or pretty much just, you know, live with it. I don't want to return it. Impossible to get right now. And I don't feel like buying another one. But I will reach out to Bluefin. I'm sure they'll take care of me. If not, whatever. It's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of annoying. And I'm also going to find out about that little alarm head. Uh, if you guys have that issue, please let me know. If you have any issues, please let me know. That's what these videos are for. You guys can read down there. Anyway, blabbing a lot, so let's move on. Figure is nice and hefty. We're going to check out how much it actually weighs in, in a moment. I've been forgetting to use my scale, which my Patreon supporters have so kindly contributed to so that I can buy. And I also want to thank you guys, uh, my Patreon. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not, I'm not doing another take for that. Let's push that in. Um, I actually got an, a, a power cord for my camera, so that's why this video is even happening because I couldn't find it and I had to wait days for Amazon 
to deliver a new one, but here I am. So again, figure, totally awesome. Now you guys wanted to see this, but here he is with Combatler. Side to side. Look like brothers, right? Almost identical in height. His little cone piece just edges it out. That's like, what, $1,200 in uh, Gokin right here? Now Voltus does uh, have these articulated fingers. At least they, they did it in a way where, you know, even though they twist around, that means they're ball jointed, which is kind of cool. You know, but obviously you're not going to get like perfectly looking fists or anything like that. So it does include alternate hands. So here we have one fist, which is, again, do I even need to say it? It's beautifully sculpted. I see that all the time. It's beautifully sculpted. I think the only complaint I would have is right there. It's just, it's just like a, why would they mold it like that? You know what I mean? Is there like a better way to get rid of that gap or not have it mold it so there's no gap seen a lot of other robots do that don't know why this is like that got the open hand again nicely sculpted this one no complaints with that then we got this one which is apparently for holding a weapon again beautifully sculpted and then these two here another weapon kind of hand and then this alright so very nice hands and just so you're wondering what the difference is between the open hands one's very open one's just like kind of resting open. For those of you that really want to liven up your display area, you get a little hawk here with a stand, and it's not painted, but look how glossy that is. They obviously polish these plastics. Very weird to get a, a really shiny plastic out of a mold. But then again, this Bandai, they're known for their molding processes. And then you got the disc here. This disc uh, does spin, not very freely. It's very frictiony. Like, look how much it sinks my finger in to spin it. But, pretty cool. Nicely painted. Nice colors. Love it. Uh, the Hawk does have slight articulation. Where is it? Right here. Sorry, I can't see with the camera in my face. Got the little claws there. I think we could check out some weapons and accessories here, right? So, we're going to go right to the crotch. Actually, I wish it was a little bit lower. I wish, like, it came out of here. That would really be really cool. But instead, it's kind of like on a waist... Got to open this up. Got little missiles right there. Got some nice detail. Aside from just looking at them, they don't do much. I'm also going to show you the Gatling missile. According to the instructions, you have to shrink your wrist. I think what they mean is like bring it in. I don't like the way that sounded. You're supposed to push that in there and attach the Gatling. There you go. Look at that. Looks mean with that Gatling gun. Really want to show you guys this one. He's got the bazooka, so we're going to just pop it right on there. Right, and that obviously his hand folds down. This comes out pretty cool looking, but that's not what's cool. Check this out. You can take this off, or I believe you can leave it on, but the instructions just show it to take off. And you can push this in there, right? And then push on the hand, and it shoots. Wow, I have not seen a shooting gimmick in a Chogo a solo Chogo in, in a very, if at all, but well, I'm sure there is, but can't remember. Awesome though. The missile is pretty cool looking, by the way. It doesn't look like it would be a shooting kind of thing since it's round at the bottom, but I like the way they designed that. So, very nice. He also comes with a chain knuckle. So, this whole chain piece, well, it's actually attached to this piece, but it's that. It goes up to the red piece, and then you can attach the claw at the end. And same thing with this. You just pop it in, and he's got that weapon going on. And then this part... You can attach to the staffs, and then he would hold that. Then, of course, he's got his electromagnetic whip. You have to take these out. All right, obviously. Otherwise, it's just going to look weird to have them on there. And it does come with an assortment of different pieces to make your whip. I'm not going to put all of them together. I'm just going to take a couple to show you how they, you know, snap into place here. Just like that. And of course, like I said, you can just make it any which way you want. It's got a little tab here, I believe, for the hand. And the whip, there's a little tab here. And this hand has that little tab, so what you're going to do is shove that in there, get that little rectangular tab to snap in, and you can go ahead and hold the whip. Now you can make the whip as long as you want, you know, with the included pieces. You can also add the end. And there's this little spike thing here, which you can remove this bottom spike here and put a thinner one, which allows you to go underneath. And then he's got the weapon where he whips this off the end of his whip. 
Now this Voltus doesn't have the uh, unfolding chest piece which turns into the sword. It's actually a separate piece, but take this off obviously because this is where the sword is. You can see the back is just blank. It is held on by a magnet. Here's a sword. You got to pop this tab out because you can actually fold it in. And you're going to pop it into the little tab on the hand and he actually holds it pretty well. And believe me guys, this is quite a sword. Now with the stand, you can also choose to prop them up. All you got to do is slide the uh, back of the stand up between the treads and that way it holds them very stably but you can also use it to create that V effect. So I'm going to go ahead and put the red uh, ears on because at least these do match. The other ones were wrong. You know, we've touched a lot about all the other pieces that it comes with all the uh, accessories. We didn't really touch upon articulation. Just so you know Bluefin does consider this a uh, statue and it should be treated as such. It's not really meant to be a toy. It is articulated though so you can articulate somewhat on this okay as far as the head the head you're supposed to be able to pull up from the neck I have not been able to do that successfully at least without stabbing myself with this but the head you know side to side motion is very limited uh, up and down again if you can get that little neck piece to go up a little higher you can get a little more articulation these shoulders I did mention they were like Ideon style you can get them like pretty pretty far um, obviously rotation on ratchets you get the elbows which are double jointed uh, waist there is no waist and that's due to the design right if we move down to the legs here you do get thigh rotation you get the legs to come out a bit this does open but not much guys don't expect too much from this again it, it is a statue uh, they are ratcheted uh, as far as knees you do get ratchets also they only go back about that far Another side note, make sure these little things are always down. You're going to end up snapping them off like I almost did. And then you have the ankles and tilt. As far as the hands, fully articulated fingers, I wouldn't say fully, just not the tips here. They do rotate on the ball joint and the thumb will pop out if you're not careful. So a couple ways uh, to mount the hawk. We'll just open up this here, the treads. And there's a little hatch here, which is going to be hard for me to open. There you go. Flip this around here. Then you can go ahead and attach the hawk right there, right over the hooks. Or you can also take this, which is the electromagnetic ball device, and put it right in his claws, like so. And then just put it right to the magnetic piece. Since this is a magnetic piece, just have to line it up. There you go. I almost forgot uh, to show you guys how much this guy weighs, so let's put him down here. Start with pounds. So he's 3.21 pounds. As far as uh, grams, it's 1,457. Now you're probably wondering why I have him all folded up like this. Uh, the reason being he has like another mode, which is like a land kind of cruiser kind of thing this heavy tank mode so all you got to do is you know fold everything up like this bring the tank treads around and literally just flop them around now one of these legs yeah this one's always loose always falls down bring that see that one just snaps really nice bring that like that then just lay them down and that's what you got right there so I tried to keep the review as short as possible, of course, sometimes it's just not possible for my review style, but this is the part where I'm going to actually uh, discuss things, so, you know, if you don't like that sort of stuff, you can log out, thank you for watching, but otherwise, this is my thoughts on this figure, very expensive, but I can see where the money has gone, it's no different than the other DX releases they've done, except this is like, it's got a few problems, okay, and one, um, well, a couple I'm not too particularly happy about. If you take the head off, right, I'm, which I'm not going to do because it's so annoying, and you pop it back on, it has that car alarm sound going on, that fire alarm, which will not shut off. I've left it there, you know, minutes, and it will not shut off. I don't think it was designed that way. I think it was designed to play a couple of times and then shut off. It does not shut off. Then the ear thing, which is not that big of a deal because it does come with alternate ears. So if you prefer the red ears, that's fine. Although it's not fair that I pay so much money for a figure and have to put up with that right then uh, I found a third problem which is in the legs alright so this right here see that it's loose it just comes down it does not lock in no matter what I do hold it in 
move it around, put pressure, it does not lock in. I should not have to deal with that. This one stays locked in. This should be able to support the weight of the figure. I don't think I'm being a baby about that. I mean, it, for the you know, if you guys can just throw around 600 bucks for an imperfect figure, that's fine. Uh, but if you do have a perfect version of this, then it is totally worth it. I mean, it's an excellent figure. I myself am bummed a little at those little things, but I, th I think if I just leave it there the way it is, it's going to look the same as one that doesn't have those issues. If anyone's had luck with uh, getting a, you know, uh, you know, fix on there, I know the bombers were getting issues. Uh, let me know. I did try with BBTS, who I got them, and they were would always, always you know jump on it and and get it fixed but they don't have any more so they're sold out so it's either return it completely or try and maybe reach out to bluefin if anybody's had luck with that they do have a support page hopefully i can get that sorted with them but thank you for watching guys again um it's been a pleasure and i'll be back with more so hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments leave them below until next time guys bye bye